and is walking. This is not terrible twos. This is a cry for well, help, a cry for safe <laughs> mobility. And as you will see, when you answer that cry, you'll find a joy in walking. Baby proofing blind walking against blindness caused walking impairment. Blindness caused motor impairment is easy to see, easy to understand, and easy to fix. It's easy to see these children are not meeting the two-year-old motor milestone. Two-year-old children typically walk six to eight hours per day. It is easy to see these children are afraid of walking independently. And it is easy to understand the reason. These babies cannot see where they are going. Here goes the egg. I know he's gonna roll and spin. What? Can you get that? The children aged two to five years old have a vision impairment so severe. When they were toddlers, they were on an independent walking trajectory, but they topped out at the 12 to 14 month milestone of unsteady walking and reliance on handheld assistance when they need to purposefully walk to a destination. The following vignettes show children of nine families who chose to baby-proof their blind walking with a pediatric belt cane. Born blind, Wade is five years old. He walked more freely when he was younger. His blindness caused walking impairment of waiting for a guide causes him to walk less than one to two hours total each day. On the left, wearing the pediatric belt cane, not waiting for a guide, he independently walks in the center of the hallway. Akira is blind, age three. Compare before, she too only moves when in contact with the adult, when seated and standing. With the belt cane, she safely stands and walks on her own. The change seen in her academic work, too. Before Balcane, she pushes the book away, uninterested. When she walks to her lessons, feeling safe behind the belt cane, she can focus on learning about the Perkins Braille Rite. And now, at age seven, she's long since transitioned to using her long cane. Thea is also three, and she is standing stock still in the middle of her driveway, biting her nails. Let's go. She won't move without a hand to hold on to. Come on. Until the belt came. Right here. This grainy video of Thea walking down the halls shows her exuberance and being able to now safely walk on her own. Seven or more hours every day. Let's go. The rest of the children are all two-year-olds. Wyatt, born blind, hey, stand up. was 33 months old in his pre-video. He too wanted to walk holding hands. And when put next to this bookcase, he still required ongoing verbal and physical prompts to keep walking. A year later, wearing his bell cane mostly only at school, during the day, he has learned to safely go wash his hands at the sink and travel about inside and outside of the school. I'm tapping on the medicine. Now he's eight years old and he's no longer wearing his belt cane. He is pushing it in front of him as he independently makes his way through the school hallway, safely going down the ramp and up the stairs independently. At 32 months, Kai, completely blind and completely terrified of walking. His improvement with the belt cane is clear. And just the fact that he is standing, holding one hand instead of two, that's progress. It takes time, but that's progress. Where are you going? Oh, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> 35-month-old Brooklyn cannot be coaxed to let go of the couch. And when her mom takes her away from it, she sits down and doesn't move from that spot. 
She is only wearing the bell cane during therapy. But when she does have it on, she stands and takes steps on her own. At 32 months, Jocelyn is safer, standing still and not coming when called. And when she wears her bell cane, she needs no invitation to walk and explore. Walking without the bell cane. Oh, I like that. That's exactly what I want to see. She runs into the wall and falls down. <laughs> Wearing the bell cane, the frame runs into the wall. She turns and changes direction and keeps on it's safely walking independently. Yay, Slow down. 28 months, Evan only got to wear his bell cane a few times. It's the mismatch between parent expectations and blind child's need. In his before bell cane video, we see him engaged in stationary, solitary play. When wearing the bell cane, it's more active, but his dad and mom want him to walk to them. Come here. Come here. But he's more interested in learning about what his cane frame can tell him about his surroundings. Poking and prodding the grass and the sidewalk and stepping and turning in response is a playful way to learn about his world. Kayla, how old is Aries? He will be two on May 2nd. Aries was a week away from his second birthday, but unprotected and uninformed walking had already robbed him of the joy of exploring his world on his own two feet. He got his first bell cane yes, three months oh. later. Well, when he's not having a fit. <laughs> Wearing his bell cane, Aries will still fall to the ground, but it's because he's actively engaging in his environment. He is so social and interested in his world. At just two years old, he needs help to write his cane frame. <laughs> and you can hear his impatience. He's ready to keep running through those halls of this mall. We see the joy at having found his way to reading the signals of his cane frame. Oh, this is like a brace to help him walk. It's a pediatric belt cane. It's for visual impairment. Oh, he's visually impaired? Oh, well, we can't tell because you're so cute. He's doing right where I was. So it's the time before much. belt cane, now just a minor blip in his early childhood motor milestone journey. He is a happy two-year-old getting his energy out, not having to hold anybody's hand. He is free to roam under the watchful and helpful gaze of his mother. A child with a mobility visual impairment or blindness requires constant protection, touch and sound feedback about the path ahead. And that's what the pediatric belt cane can do for you. The pediatric belt cane is for adult use. Infants, toddlers, and preschool children must naturally rely on adults to baby-proof their blind walking. They cannot ask for it by name, nor can they be responsible for making sure they wear their belt canes correctly. He loses his balance and plops down on the floor. Oh, sorry. Pediatric belt canes, baby-proof blind walking. Adults who do the hard work of baby-proofing their walking using a pediatric belt cane find an increase in the overall joy of movement in their blind or mobility visually impaired children. Safe Toddles is a nonprofit. Our mission is to enable parents to baby-proof their blind toddlers walking as they learn about their world. For more information, contact us, info at safetoddles.org, or call 845-244-6600, 845-244-6600.